What's up folks, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, in this one, we are doing an installation on the Yellowfin 120. I ordered a um, Yellowfin 130T from Vibe um, rudder kit. And what I wanna do is I have recently also picked up a big speed. That bad boy right there. So the Elephant 120, um, this one right here, does not come with the rudder kit, but it comes rudder ready, uh, meaning it's got the tracks for the rudder, it's got the holes already pre-drilled. It's got the rudder mount and the holes pre-drilled. Um, you just have to order a kit after the fact to get it set up, and that's what I've ordered here from Vibe, came in today. So we're going to go ahead and do the... Yellowfin 120 rudder kit installation. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So y'all stay tuned. If this is helpful, check it out. Throw a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys. Unboxing video. This is a Vibe rudder kit. Um, this is, I purchased this off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. But um, this is the one that is listed to be, to fit the Yellowfin 130T. Invoice, rudder kit. All right, because this is the Elephant 130, which is a two-person um, kayak, it comes with two of these. We're only going to use one set of those. All right, so in the Vibe Elephant 130T tandem kayak rudder kit, you're going to get one rudder, ready to rock and roll. Two uh, rudder cables left and right. These are going to be real long compared to what I actually need. Um, that is going to hold the rudder down in place. That is going to be your um, your tension line that's right down here on the side of the kayak. And this is going to be the rudder line to lift and lower the rudder. All right, so in this clip, we're installing the rudder cables. Uh, the Elephant 120 is rudder ready. So all of these tubes and ports and all this are set up and ready to go. One tip that I have is to, I'm using a piece of wire that has a little bit more rigidity to it to thread the rudder cables through. Um, the rudder cables being a little bit soft, they'll kind of back up in the tube as you're running them through if you try to just run just the, uh, the, the, the line through itself. So if you get something that's a little bit more stiff, like a wire, this is um, decorative wire, pitcher hanging wire, you can run it through twist it up on the line, pull it through, and you're good to go. And here I'm installing the rudder control cable on the other side of the kayak. And next I'm installing the rudder deployment line. This is the line that goes on the right side of the Elephant 120 that you use to deploy and pull up your rudder. Okay, so we have the, uh, the rudder lines installed here. So we got the rudder lines installed. I'll show you guys what that's all about. That's the uh, line that you use to pull the rudder in and out, um, deploy it, and these are the control lines. So this goes in through here, runs along the inside, comes right out there. Same thing on the other side. So now that we have the line set up, um, we want to set up the retention line that um, holds the rudder here and we also want to install the pedals i'm going to show you guys how to do that um, here are the parts that we need remember this is a yellowfin 130t kit so there's parts in here that i'm not going to use for the yellowfin 120. we are only going to use two of these not the whole kit these lines are also not going to be used so that, this is the rest of the kit. Let's see, we'll be taking two of those out. 
that should be it right here that what we're going to use all right guys now we are going to assemble the pedals that's going to be this side this side so it's got these clamps right here and it's got these um, little lever marks you want to put those bottom clamps in and then roll it both at the same time just like that once again you want also this is your footprint Let's put a pedal that's going to be here you want this part to be facing down to get the best leverage possible so see inside teeth right there we're just going to set those right there and turn it there we go now we got it set oh there's two springs seat those springs there's a little edge right there for you to put the spring in what that's going to do is as you pull it forward it's going to flex make sure that you keep your lines nice and tight You're gonna get a roll of tape and we're just gonna pin these toe controls down so we can tighten this system. Alright, so how I fasten these lines to the overall pedal. Just pull the pedal in. There's a little notch down here. And how I like to do it, push that up. Just run your line through that little pulley right there, that little wheel, and just loop it. And leave it like a real light knot at first so you can back it out, change the, you know, dial in the, the distance it is. That way you can even out your, uh, your rudder in the end, but just run it down Make sure it's seated in that little wheel, and then loop it around the notch. Flip it up like that. So as you can see, these guys are level. That's not going anywhere. It's attached down here on the back of that notch, and the knot will sit right down in that, uh, that groove right there. So you've got a little bit of line to play with in case you want to lengthen it. Um, and just dial it in to where you get a nice level set. Also, when you're doing this whole setup, make sure that <laughs> make sure that you're setting the pedals up to fit with the length of your legs. Um, so I measured it out to make sure that I'm kind of long-legged, so I'm up here on the top end of the track. But uh, make sure you don't set them too close to the the seat or too far away to the seat to where you can't um, move the rudder. So another thing you want to look out for when you're dialing this in is you want to make sure your knots um, are not hitting that stopper and forcing it in, forcing it back, getting stuck in it. So you want to make sure that your loop is just short enough to where your knots are going to stop right there at the end. And I'll show you. As you can see, I've got a range there that I can work with. I think a key to this setup is being able to shorten the disconnect line from this knot back to this knot. Shorten that up a little bit if you have to. Um, that's going to give you enough room back in here to play and steer. All right, guys, for the elephant, I'm just using this cleat, this little notch right here to secure the bungee line. So this is the bungee line 
this is the actual rudder cable. Oops. Tons of rudder cable left. Um, as you can see, not deployed right there. This is all nice and tight. That's what you want. Put a little knot right above this, um, this little ball. What this is going to help you to do is grab and pull. Put down in the rudder line cleat, just like that. All right, y'all, quick disconnect. Now that we've got the rudder system pretty much installed, just got to trim some lines, tighten some knots. Uh, some of the permanent knots I'll probably put super glue on to add an extra bond to make sure that they stick. But uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to install the Bixby jet on this rudder. Um, so the reason we did the quick installs because we want to be able to pull this rudder off, install it on other kayaks really quick really easily let me show you guys that real quick so basically i use these little night eyes um carabiners they've got a little lock in the middle of them you can get these at rei or outdoor shops that sort of thing usually they're at the uh, front of the counter type of deal just take the tension off of the line hit the little lock there and boom just like that. Now we'll pull this rudder out. Gonna have to retie this knot. So we're gonna need a quick disconnect for this area right here. But for the time being, we'll just go ahead and pull the whole unit out. Just like that. I'm installing these little zip ties on the top of the knot to keep them from ever going back up in the steering cable lines so I'm gonna clip these long long parts and that little green knot there it's gonna keep those in the right side of the kayak catch see that way when you pull those up they're gonna prevent them from going back up in the kayak so just prevents any mistakes security measure I guess you don't want to lose these cable lines up into the uh, kayak once you're out on the water Alright, before you do this, make sure you are mounting the Bixby in the right direction. Alright, so there's our notch. Makes room for the wire. We are going to pre-mark these four holes right here. Pre-drill those. So you can see the kayak side, the pin side, is right there. Alright, so we just want to make sure, double check, that we're mounting this on the right way.
here's the full setup, the battery setup, the Bixby's mounted, rudders cut, ready to go. Quick disconnects here so I can take the whole unit off, put it in the car, lock it up, store it, drop it back on, and if I use the same setup with other kayaks, I can just swap the motor to whatever kayak I want to use that day. Um, So there we go. There's the big speed. I got it leveled. Move this back a little bit. I got it leveled so when the motor engages and this kicks up, this is actually going to be level. Um, when I first set it up, um, it was kind of kicking up a little bit. So be real careful to make sure that you're your little motor is level when you're, um, you know, the, there's pressure and it's pushed up against the kayak like that and you're moving. Um, when you're not using it, you're in shallow water, just bring it up here, take some of your bungee cord, pin it down. You do want to use it, pull it down like that. As you can see, no problem steering. So there we go, Bixby Jet install. Just so y'all can see it work. Let's go ahead and set it up so you guys can see that. forward stop it's ready to go fellas Bixby jet has been mounted to the yellow fin 120 we're gonna give it a shot this weekend see how fast we can get it going but thanks for checking out the video if you guys have any questions about this install um, it's really really easy not hard to do at all there's just a lot of little steps and intricacies and there's also opportunity for you to set it up um, the way you like it the way you want it to, to be set up like with the quick disconnects um, you don't have to go that route like I have so that's what's fun about kayak fishing guys is it's, there's no real right way or wrong way to do it it's just about tinkering, setting things up, getting it set up the way you want it to be set up. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So thanks for checking out the video. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll check y'all out on the next one. See ya. Bye.